everyone, Tyler this back here. First of all, I would like to apologize for not being able to upload videos for the past several weeks since I have been really busy with other things. But here we are in an interesting series which starts today, the Groovy Geometry Series. Today, we'll be giving you an introduction to geometry and its applications. First of all, what is geometry? Geometry is one of the core subjects of math as a whole. It is the branch of math that deals with lines, shapes, and space. In our daily life, mastering geometry is a necessity to create designs for construction and determining which materials to use. Nearly if not all of the world's wonders such as the Taj Mahal and the Ark the Triumph were carefully planned, calculated, and constructed to geometry. Pretty much all of our everyday objects and inventions were also designed to geometry so that they can function properly. To understand geometry and its applications, let's discuss some of the key concepts and terms in geometry. To begin with, let's discuss about the types of lines. First, we'll discuss about line segments. Line segments are lines connecting two points. The two points are called Endpoints. Next, we'll discuss about rays. Rays are lines with only one endpoint. It infinitely extends from the other side of the endpoint. Now, we'll discuss about parallel lines. Parallel lines are two lines that are always the same distance from each other. There is another possible relation between two lines which are called perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are two lines that form one or more right angles. Do keep in mind that perpendicular lines can form more than one right angle, so the parallel line can extend like this and the two lines will still be perpendicular. Now, let's go through two common encounters in geometry. The first common encounters are angles. Angles are formed by two rays with the same endpoint. Two examples include the red angle and the orange angle. Angles will be more thoroughly explained as the series goes on, so stay tuned! The next common encounters are congruent lines or angles. Congruent lines or angles are two lines or angles with the same measure. For instance, the pink and the purple angles are congruent since they have the same measure. Of course, an introduction to geometry would not be complete without a brief explanation on 2D shapes and 3D shapes. 2D shapes may be seen as figures with two dimensions or flat planes. Some examples include this square, this triangle, and this circle. About the square and the triangle, they are also called polygons. Polygons are 2D shapes that have at least three sides, none of which are curved. 3D shapes are also called solids. Some examples include this cuboid, this spear, and just about any everyday object in your life. To end of the video, let's go through some essential tools for geometry. First, we have a ruler. Rulers are mainly used for measuring lengths, including lines and sides of 2D and 3D figures. This ruler can only represent centimeters, but most rulers will represent centimeters on one side and inches on the other. For example, if we want to measure this line, if the line starts at the zero mark, which it does, we just have to look at the mark at the very end of the line. In this case, the mark at the very end is 15. Therefore, the length of the line is 15 centimeters. Next, we have a protractor. Protractors are mainly used for measuring angles. For example, if we want to measure this angle, we need to make sure one of its rays is parallel to the base of the protractor, and then we just have to look at the measures that the other ray point to. Notice that the other ray points to two measures, 150 and 30. To determine the size, we need to know if the angle is acute or obtuse. We can see here that it is acute, and therefore, the size of the angle is 30 degrees. By the way, it is measured in degrees as angles are measured in degrees. Finally, we have a set square. Set squares actually have two variations. A 45-45-90 set square and a 60-30-90 set square. Set squares are used to draw perpendicular lines. To draw perpendicular lines, we just have to align the set square like this and trace it out like that. 
However, if you want to draw perpendicular lines, making more than one right angle, we can use a ruler like this and extend the bottom line. Set squares can also be used to draw parallel lines. All we have to do is align two of the same set square like this to make a rectangle, and then trace out the perimeter to make two sets of parallel lines. This is the end of today's video. I hope today's video gave you a rough idea of geometry and what it has to offer. As always, please give a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and please share with me the others after you have done it. Any of your support will be well appreciated by me. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!